The storm in Norman's ship face alone is another valley bar that plans on returning soon. Having shut us down, it also didn't decrease the cases. So I don't understand why I feel like we're being targeted as an industry. The Walmarts, the box stores, all those are wide open. Carrie and Norman Thompson say they can no longer justify keeping their employees away any longer. Hey, give me the right to be a human being. I'm fine with that right. Now you can keep me from having that if you've got all the policemen and all the jobs on your side. I paid a return visit to the Liquor Control Board in Spokane, Washington. Last week, two businesses decided to take a stand in Spokane Valley. King Inslee himself has threatened anyone not complying would be visited and threatened with extortion. If that isn't enough to coerce people just trying to survive and keep a little of what they've worked so hard for, the King has stated he would send his bribe policy enforcers from the Liquor Control Board to actually extort restaurants and bars backed with the threat of violence. I do this not because me all by myself is going to make a difference, but because these order followers for the predator class need to understand it's not just the businesses they're hurting. They are ruining our local economy, so in turn, the whole community. I also want them to know these businesses and their owners and employees do not stand alone. I haven't been asked to do anything by either of these businesses that have been harassed and fined by the liquor board. I do this as a concerned member of my community. As I've stated many times before, I'll stand up for and with the nonviolent victims of aggression with force if necessary to get that aggression to stop. I'm a voluntarist who believes only in voluntary interactions of free people and the non-aggression principle. Government is illegitimate and only knows force and extortion in order to gain compliance. King Inslee likes to say Washingtonians are following his mandates voluntarily. However, I had never been in a store that absolutely required me to wear a mask until he threatened businesses with extortion and the loss of their licenses none of which he can legally do through his edicts and mandates. Those are just guidelines. But his threats are what made these stores suddenly start trying to enforce these mandates on their customers. So here I am again at the Liquor Control Board giving them a piece of my mind and carrying out the Milgram experiments. Letting people see me standing up to authority and power. When one person does it and it is observed by others, the others are more likely to speak up to injustices themselves. Employees of the Liquor Board, you need to stop harassing our community. They don't deserve this. They're just here trying to support their employees and their families. You guys are carrying out evil deeds in the name of Jay Inslee. You're ruining your community in his name and you need to stop. Don't go threaten Storm and Normans again. They're a member of our community and the community will stand up for them. You guys are threatening them. You're extorting money from them. You're threatening them with extortion. They've already suffered enough. You guys haven't suffered at all. Stop it. It's not okay. We're members of your community. Leave us alone. We're just trying to live our lives. Jay Inslee is making you tear apart our community. Kevin Lillard, you don't even make up very much money, but I understand you're one of the ones threatening extortion. $60,000, a little over that is all you made in 2019. That's how horrible your ethics are, that you only require $60,000 to be stolen from people like me to pay your salary to do these bad deeds. If I was doing bad deeds like you, evil deeds, stealing money from people who haven't done anything to anyone else, I would require a lot more than 60,000 fiat currency dollars. I don't know what's worse, you destroying your community or the fact that you do it for so cheap. You're a disgrace. Stop ruining the lives of members of our community. Stop threatening extortion back with the threat of violence. It's not okay and your community does not accept it. You guys can go ahead and just keep hiding away in your building here when I come. Lock it up. Make sure the people you steal money from can't get into there. But when a business decides to open, 
We're going to be there next time. When you guys go in to make your threats of extortion, we're going to call you out for your ethics. We're going to make examples of you for being the pieces of crap that you are. Turn in your badges, put in your letter of resignation, and join the community rather than the ruling predator class. You guys are nothing more than predators just like them. Knock it off. Leave our community alone. I'll be back. These guys are threatening violence and taking money from people who are just trying to live their lives. They aren't doing anything to anyone else. So I'm protesting them and their job. They're ruining our community. <laughs> I know there's at least a couple of you in there, and I know you can hear me. Knock it off. Stop doing your crappy job. Quit tearing apart our community. Get a real job. Create something for our economy rather than just take. That's all you do is take. You don't create anything. You produce nothing. Quit ruining our community. Yeah, you guys in these back offices too. I caught you on camera without your masks on. And normally I don't care about that. I, I support people not wearing masks. But when you guys are the jerks stealing money from people in the name of these mandates and then you're not even following them yourself, it's gross. Knock it off. Turn in your badges. Give a re letter of resignation and produce something for your community rather than take. Thank you for supporting my work. Independent thought and journalism are under attack. If you want to fight censorship and promote independent thinking and freedom, we need your support. It's not just me. All truth-minded content creators are getting pushed off of the most popular and censorship-loving social media platforms. You can support me by making a donation of cryptocurrency. I have multiple wallets listed in the description of every video. If you still love your international bankster's fiat currency, I have links to PayPal, Venmo, and Cash App listed as well. If you're unable to donate in that fashion, consider signing up for Library, 3Speak, Hive, Steemit, DTube, or Mines using the links below and earn some crypto for yourself and me by using my affiliate links. Then you and I can both be earning decentralized cryptocurrency for you simply watching and interacting with my content.